In this tutorial, we're going to look at updating our splash screen with the image, our logo, some text, and we'll also modify the button to make it custom, or to use a custom image instead of the ones that come with CX Designer. I've given our movie theater a name, and it's called the Cube Movie Magic, for no reason in particular, and I've just used a stock image here of a cube in the background. I'm not using a picture from a movie because it'll probably be copyrighted or something like that. So let's see how I did this. And to start with, we need to know what size our picture needs to be. So I'm going to go to Screen Properties. And in Screen Properties, you can see the screen is set to 320 by 240. So 320 pixels by 240 pixels. To edit the image, I'm using Inkscape. It's free, open source. And you can see this is my image I took from my phone. And there's the text I added. So we can move the text down here. All right, just leave it up there. You can see here that this is a full image, um, high definition image taken from my phone. But within CX Designer, you cannot use high definition images. It only supports 256 colors because that's all that particular HMI supports. So I'm going to open up the same image now in Paint and we'll edit it there. So here's my image in Paint. I've added a filter there just to make it a little bit more transparent to make the text easier to read. And that's embedded text now, so this is a bitmap image. I cannot actually use this image. I need to convert it into a bitmap because at the moment it's in the PNG format and it's also true color, 24 bit true color. So to do that, I go file, I'm going to go save as and save as bitmap. And from the save types, I'm going to select 250. 6-bit color bitmap. You can also select 16 if you like, but that's the highest you can go. It's 256. Let me select that and I'm going to save it to welcome.bitmap. Okay, now I'm saving it. It's going to tell me that I'm going to use my transparency. So I'm going to lose this transparency I added and you're not going to have the same number of colors. So let's save this and see what it looks like. With that saved, you can see I've lost all the definition from my image. So if you're selecting an image for your movie project, it needs to support 256 colors. Let's go ahead anyway, and let's import this image into CX Designer. So I'm back in CX Designer, and I'm going to select the image from the background. So I right click, screen properties, and background. So previously we set the background color as white. Now I'm going to set a background file. I'm going to specify the file, I'm going to select. Within the folder, I'm going to select my image, which is welcome.bitmap here, and I'm going to select Open, and I'm going to select OK. And that will now set that as my background bitmap. You may be asked for a file name to add this to the database. If you are, just select welcome.bitmap. With that done, let's update the button now and see if we customize that. So I've double clicked on the button, I've gone to Color and Shapes, and I'm going to select the Off and the On. So the off shape here, I'm going to select File, and I'm going to select Shape. And what I've done is I've created two images here, one for the off and one for the on. So when it's when it's off or not pressed, it's going to be green, and when it's on, it's going to be yellow. I'll just show you that image now. So back in Paint, you can see my image here. If I just go File and Properties, you can see the image is 260, and I've just made it yellow and I've put some text on using the image editor. Let's just update that and instead of putting press to start let's put a little icon in we'll draw a little square and I'm going to save that so file save as again it has to be a bitmap it's going to, have to be 256 colors and I'm going to call it press to start on and press it. Okay, let's get back into CX Designer so you can see in CX Designer now, it's updated that with my little red border. Let's give this a file name of well on. You can give this whatever you like once it makes sense to you. And go OK. And then we'll take the on position here. Select it. And this time we're going to select the yellow one. We'll call this well. On. When the button isn't pressed, we have a green button. Um, when you press the button, it will change to yellow with this red barrier around it. 
So I'll select OK on that. Now you can see when I pressed press the start, which is part of my image, it's still there, but the label is also there. So I need to remove the label. So let's double click back into the button, go to label, and just remove press the start. So that looks a lot better. So let's simulate this and see what it looks like. So now you can see my simulation is running and I've got my little press to start and it moves on to the next screen. So I haven't updated this screen. So you can go and update those screens and see can you make them look a little bit more friendly. This is only a short video, that's just a brief update. Thanks for watching.